All right, so today I'm going to talk about extern variables. These are global variables that you can use all over your program in Xcode. Um, we'll see the one of the uses of these variables with a very simple app. So I'm going to start by creating a single view application in Xcode. I'm going to call it uh, simple app, prefix is A, and then the other values are fine. Next, where I'm going to say, where am I going to save it? Probably going to save it here, for example. I don't know. Create. Okay, so I'm going to create in a different folder. Sorry about that. So, so I'm going to create it uh, here. Here. I'm going to create it here. Fine. All right. So what we'll do is we're going to go to the main storyboard and put a couple of simple components. I'm going to put a label and a button. Okay, so I'm going to drag the label here. I'm going to put it here. I'll make it, I'll make it big enough to hold a lot of text. You will see why in a second. I'm going to put the button here. I'm also going to make it big enough to hold a lot of text. Center. There it is. Okay, so label and button. Now, I'm not going to put any any text here. I'm going to initialize the text in the view controller. So I'm going to go to the SA view controller. Oops, sorry. First, I'm going to create the outlets so that the controller can actually get a handle on this label and this button. So I'm going to create on the assistant, which will split um, the window in two. Now, usually you want to create outlets or references to this label and button in your um, in your interface. You can do it in the public interface, in the .h, the header file, or you can do it in the more private interface here in the .m file. You see this is saviewcontroller.m. I'm going to create my handler handles to label and button over in this portion of the interface, the private set. So the way I do this is I control drag the label to the interface and then it's asking me to create an outlet and my outlet is going to be uh, my label. Okay, that's what, I got, that's what I'm going to call the variable. It created a variable called my label that is actually going to be a reference to this label. Whatever I do to my label will be reflected over here. And then button, same thing, control drag over here. I will have uh, my button. Okay, I'll create whatever I do to this button will be reflected over here. Okay, now I won't add any functionality to the button. By creating an outlet, all I can do is I control this button object, okay? But I, uh, it's it's harder to listen for clicks and stuff. What I can control is the text, for example, or the color, or the appearance, stuff like that, okay? Um, so now I've created my two handles. I'm going to go back to my regular mode, go back to my controller here. I have my properties, my label, my button. I'm going to initialize them with some text, right? So I'm going to do self, my label, text equals, um, I don't know, uh, text here, and then I'm going to initialize the button uh, title label dot text equals um, click, okay? And I will run this little program. Here's my iPhone, it says text here from this one, and the button doesn't say anything. I, I did the wrong thing here. I'm going to do my button, set title, click, for state, UI control state normal. There you go. Okay, I just set the text of the button. Oh, and I have to close this view did load method. So I'll run this. Text goes here and click says the button. Okay, clear. Now, what happens here is imagine this is a lot of text with a lot of labels and a lot of buttons and a lot of uh, a bunch of other things. Say I want to translate this this uh, this application or I want to change one of the strings. I have to go and fish strings through my code. Okay, and that might not be the best way of doing this. It's not very object-oriented. It demands a lot of knowledge about the classes of your application 
for the developer that want to change that wants to change this. So your app will never be fully portable into other languages, for example, or it's harder to modify. If if users complain about you know a button saying the wrong thing, you have to go fish through your application to find that button and so on and so forth. But there is a better way. We're going to use a kind of global variables called uh, external variables that will allow us to make easy changes on these in this case these strings that basically are constant they're not going to change a lot right but if they change we don't want it to be a pain to change them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to click on right click on the supporting files or control click say new file i'm going to go to coco objective c class and i'm going to call this class sa constants okay i'm going to call it constants i'll create it in the default place, that's fine. And I'm going to create a couple of variables that I'm going to use throughout my program. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to prefix them with the extern keyword. So extern and a string um, label text. I'm going to actually use low uppercase. This is just a nomenclature that I think makes sense to identify variables that are constant and represent strings or, or fixed values. Extern and a string button text. Okay, so I've created these variables, label text and button text. This is in my, oops, sorry, this should go in my header file. So I click on the header file in the interface portion. So I'll put this here label text and button text in the interface portion. Now, in the implementation portion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a value to those variables, but I'm going to also add the const keyword before this. So, in a string label text, and I'm going to set this to some text. I'm going to do const and a string button text and I'm gonna set it to click me all right so what I've done I've created a class that has the name of the constants label text button text and then the values for these constants okay the variable extern means that if I import this as a constants that age I can just refer to these variables as if they were part of my program and this the the dot m the implementation says that these variables are going to have a value and that value is constant meaning people can't change it that's what it is okay so let's use them in my view controller my view controller i'm going to import my sa constants okay and instead of saying text here i'm going to say label text instead of saying click i'm going to say button text Okay, and let's run this app. There it is, some text and click me, which is different than what we had. And now the beauty of this is that if you ever want to change it, so say for example you want to change it to Spanish, okay, well, you want to internationalize your application, you just change it here. You say, um, texto and and uh, instead of click me, uh, tocame. Yep. So there you go. Now we run our application on texto and tocame. Well, you want to change it to a different, you want it to say something different. So uh, some cool text. And then tap me. You run it, it says some cool text and tap me. And changing this application is really easy. I never had to mess with any view controllers or none of that. That happens when I created the app. But when I changed the variables, I just, I just changed the variables in one file. And all my variables for the application change. That is the beauty of external variables, okay, and how to use them. Remember to import the file where you have the external variables and your variables, your externs, should have extern, the data type, and the name. And then the .m file should have the const, the same data type, the same name, and then initialize it to some value that you can then easily change.